I think part of the ethic of the ALI that makes it so effective is a certain level of humility on the part of everybody involved in it. The reporter, the advisors to the reporter, the members, the, the, the folks who come to the annual meeting. Because it's really not an exercise in getting your way. It's an effort to try to faithfully harness the collective wisdom of the courts and of everybody involved in the project. And that has a lot of implications. One of them is there's a right amount of investment to have in any position or issue that you're involved in. Everybody needs to care and everybody needs to want to get it right. But there's a right amount of caring and you want to be invested but not over-invested. So, you, so invested enough to, to, to make your points but not so invested that you can't change your mind or not so invested that you can't yield if it turns out that the, 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 the sense of the group is something other than, than what you think. And to me, what the ALI has going for it that so many institutions in our culture now don't is you've got a bunch of people who care enough to, to really uh, commit themselves to the project, but they're also prepared to lose. They, 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 they don't mind being told they're wrong. They don't mind changing their minds. They don't mind giving way to others because they realize it's not about them and winning and it's not about any other one person and winning. It's about the whole institution, everybody involved in it, coming to a sense of the group. So the other aspect of the ALI ethic that I think is so valuable is this respect for collective wisdom. Uh, there's a reason why the reporters call it a reporter and not an author because the reporter is really not in the business of writing the the restatement, the reporters in the business of working with groups, working, thinking about what the courts say, looking at what the commentators say, listening to advisors, listening to members, listening to the public, everybody, and then finding a result that best expresses their collective wisdom. Because what you discover early as a reporter is nobody is as smart as everybody. You know, if you're a reporter, you probably think you're pretty clever. You try to get it right and you discover pretty quick that you're not. Because no matter what you say, a hundred people come out of the woodwork to point out where you went astray, but you learn to value that because what that means is by the time you're finished, it's really going to be good because it's not going to be something you said, it's going to be something that everybody helped with. And eventually what you discover is that the same thing would happen to any reporter who, who, who was in your role. Uh, the collective judgment of all those involved in a project is vastly wiser than the judgment of any one person or any, any one reporter.